What's cracking, everybody? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. New video. Well, as you can see <clears throat> on the screen, I'm going to be reacting to last night's live. Uh, excuse me. Still trying to get over this, man. Um, first of all, since we see him on the screen, Junior Cardenas. Thank you for the donation and the support of the channel. Um, last night, for those of you that missed it, uh, Gunner and I went live. Uh, Gunner and I went live on the big channel. And uh, at one point in the night, we turned off all the music. And, um, you know, Gunner and I have contacts. Um a lot of different contacts in the industry. Um, and we've we've said that, and it seems like people don't really uh, um, believe us, or I don't know. So last night, somebody said, we were listening to the J. Diggs diss song of WAC 100, right? You see it on the behind Gunner on his screen right there. Um, and somebody said, call WAC. And so Gunner said, okay, we'll call him. Now, I want to preface this before we get into the video. I want to say this. Everyone knows, everybody has an idea of who WAC 100 is. Right? Everybody knows how we always talks, how we always responds and reacts to everything, any question being asked. He's loud. He's very disrespectful. He's argumentative, right? Excuse me. That's who we were expecting to answer the phone. That's who we were expecting to engage with. And um, let's see what happened. If that's who we engaged with and how we responded. We'll see if he answers. This is really Whack 100's fucking phone call. Yeah. Is this Whack 100? Oh, man, we got another kid. Hey, no, hey, hey Whack. Whack okay, he said. Here we go. We got another kid. What's up? So right away, I was like, because I was shocked. Like this, I didn't think he was an answer gunner. Um, he was told we were gonna call, but I thought he was gonna be like, Psh. that's what I was like. Oh hell no! Nah. So it caught us off guard, and then he, he's like, oh, it's a kid. So let's go. Hold up, what? Hey, Wag, look. Yeah, come on, come on, buddy. Let's get it out, bro. No, hey, Wag, one hundred. No trip out, bro. This get is Gunner's out. Collective. I wanted to get at you, bro. The homie shot me your number to get at you. This is Gunner, man, from Gunner's Collective from his, from uh, YouTube. What's happening with it? Yeah, I don't know, y'all. Hey, on pop. <laughs> That's so funny. If you ever trip out, WAC 100 always says he don't know nobody. Like, I don't know you. He says it about everybody. And and just so you guys know, uh, Gunner and him did time together. And uh, in Nellis in the California Youth Authority. So, our roof. Come on, what? Hey, we was in Nellis together. You don't. Hey, look at look, look. Hey, what? No, I. Hey, listen, what? We was in Nellis together. Real talk in '92. Hey, listen. Hey, I was on Madison. I was on Madison. I was on Kennedy. I went from. Hey, I went from truth. I know you wasn't on either one of them. Hey, you know Sheik. You know Sheik. You know Sheik? Hey, Wack. Sheik from where? The Sheik, homie, from where? Sheik from Pacoima. Why are you sound tired, fool? No, I don't know Sheik. I lagged right there, but I, I thought he, I, I still was thinking he was going to, you know, get crazy. And that's why I was like, man, why you sound tired? Because I was, you know, I was, I was checking the, the temperature real quick. Hey, you wasn't there with Sheik. Come on now, uh, Wack. Nah, I ain't no Sheik, bro. I ain't no Sheik from my neighborhood. Bro. Hey, I'm that's the homie right, right there. Man. There's no sheep from Pyro, bro. There, man, there is sheep from Pyro, bro. Come on now, bro. Sheep. No, his name was Sheik. No, he ain't from my neighborhood. That's his last name or that's his gang name? No, that's his, I think that's his gang name. What about, what about Brazy? Hey, what about Brazy? You know, what about Kid Brazy? From, uh, from, uh, from. Or your neighborhood, Kid Brazy. I was in Paso Robles you know, with Kid, Kid Brazy. Brazy right? Okay, yeah, yeah. I wasn't I wasn't why it was I wasn't possible with him. I, why is my mic so loud? How do I turn it down? 
I got to figure out how to turn my mic down over there because that thing is belligerent. Hey, look, real talk, whack. You know, what I mean, hey, I just wanted to get at you for reals, man. What's 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 with it, man? You know, uh, I've been trying to get at you about this YouTube shit, man. You know, when the homie reached me your number, he's, you know, I, hey, look, it, I ain't really tripping like that, whack, on on none of the bullshit. I ain't here for the fuckery, man. <laughs> Again, look, at this point, I'm really thinking Wax's gonna go off. Gunner setting him up because I knew, you know, Gunner had said when I do get this dude on the phone, I'm gonna ask him a certain question. And it, it had to do with uh, Wack being butt naked on the bed, screaming at men on, and, and the clubhouse app. So to me, I'm laughing. That that's I'm just like, oh yeah, he's gonna get him. This dude's gonna go off on us. This is gonna be funny. Man, I'm just trying to get at you on some YouTube shit, man, to see what's been going on with all this bullshit. You know, I see all this shit with Jay Diggs, and and, and I'm saying this shit with Diggs, man. Hey, but what about the song, right? How, how about the song? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing. That's my boy right here. He was asking the question. Go ahead. Do your thing. Yeah. I sent this nigga my location. I waited for that nigga six hours. That nigga told me every 30 minutes he was five minutes away. I got Look, man, I respect that. Uh, Rack 100 took the call. He engaged with us. But uh, J. Diggs ain't... um. I don't even know him, but I, I know of his reputation. He's not, he's he's showing, if he tells you he's coming, he's coming. So, uh, I don't know about that. Got all content all of my text messages. I don't, I don't even know this nigga. I ain't seen this nigga. You know, you know how it is, bro. When niggas been trying to do something 15, 20 years, right? Don't work. All you got to do is make your whack name. People talk about you. He has never been talked about this much without mentioning my name. I ain't never seen this nigga. I don't know nothing about this nigga. Mm. Hey, so I'm not a rapper. I don't know nothing about this nigga. 52, 53 years old. Hey. I ain't never hey. seen this nigga. Did no business with this nigga. Talk to this nigga and nothing. So, you know how I go. You know, bitch, you're hey, right. Hey, what? No. <laughs> Hey, hey, Wack, hey, Wack. Hey, I'm you know? No, I mean I feel that, but trip out the army wants to ask you a question real real, uh, real talk real quick. Hey, hey, Wack. Hey, what happened with that thing with China Mac? Was he back in your play and, and got a whooping because of it or what? I don't know. They said, I don't know. You got a, they said, what what thing with China Mac? China Mac in New York. What you talking about? I know, I know that brother looked like he got hickeys all they over. They said he got beat up, but it looked like he got hickeys. I don't know, bro. It looked like I mean Look like me, nigga got a rash. Huh? <laughs> hey. Shout out to China Mac. China Mac's uh, being cool to the platform. Shout out to him. It's unfortunate. Whatever happened out there, man. It, you know that's the thing. Messing with with whack. I don't even. I don't even know what he did. What what they got mad at him about in New York, but they got mad at him and he flew there. One thing about China Mac, he had a problem. Him and AD had a problem. He pulled up. They had a problem with him back in his hometown. He flew over there. Uh, but shout out to China Mac. I want to see China Mac prosper. You know, he's in a lane to make a lot of money. Um, the streets don't love nobody. Um, so get your money, big dog. Take care of you, your family, whatever. Oh, man, I hey, that, hey, that motherfucker looked like, hey, look like they did something else in DP. Like though. Like <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Wax said that shit looks like poison ivy. That boy got a hickey. That's a cold DP right there. I mean, it's working. Hey, but now we're cool with China Mac over here, though. You know what I mean? We don't have yeah, beef with nobody. We're just asking the question. Yeah, we fuck with China. That's right. That's right. I just know. Hey, hey, Wack, can I ask you a serious question? I shouldn't have interrupted him right there. You just put shit out there to make a nigga talk, shit. Look, hey, hey, Wack, can I ask you a serious question? No bullshit. Bro, what's up? What the fuck kind of boxers did 6 9 have when he got his ass whooped? Hey, he said what? He said what kind of motherfucking undershorts did motherfucking 6 9 have when he that got his ass whooped? That shit was shiny. Hey, come on, Wack. That motherfucker. Going back to the Takashi thing, I had to ask, you know, because he's he's he supports Takashi, so I want to see did he support them them um, Puff Daddy ass boxers he had on. He was wearing them Axel Rose and throwbacks. Axel Rose. I don't know, bro. I wasn't paying attention to all that. Mm -hmm. All I know is this: is he won? That nigga won. Yeah, 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 that
He what? He he, he, he 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 walked out. Hey, bro, let me tell you something. That's true. For a nigga, yeah, you know what? That's out. true, though. And he walked out, bro. He walked out. He did. He won, bro. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. You look at crazy. You got a nigga 230, another nigga, three niggas, give this nigga face shot, rib shot. That is true. Ain't no walking out after that. He won. That, you know, and I had to... um. You know, at this point, I started realizing Wack wasn't trying to, uh, he wasn't going to be disrespectful. He was going to be respectful. I was seeing a different person. Uh, and I think a lot of the people on the live, there was almost 300 people on the live. Uh, people were coming in because of him being on. And I think everybody pretty much walked away from that interview uh, with a different um, outlook of him. Um, maybe it's just. When he gets on Clubhouse, it's that environment. It's a negative environment, so it brings out that type of energy. Um, but here, um, he was respectful, man, and we, we had to respect that. Mm-mm-mm. He did so something. Sure. These niggas, hold on. You got father and son in jail with the wife or the GoFundMe come on, help me with the bail. This nigga take the footage, put it in the video, <laughs> drop it, and do two, six million views in two days. Bro, he won. He did that. He, won. he did. I mean, hey, look. He won. He as much as as much as as much as we don't want to admit it, hey, he they should have killed him. If they were serious, they should have killed him. Not, look, even if they didn't kill him, listen, even if they didn't kill him, he was supposed to be carried out on a stretcher. Nigga not walked out. They gave this nigga like 30 face shots. <laughs> that mother, you walking out? Hey, that motherfucker, hey, that motherfucker six nice cast iron, huh? <laughs> Hey, 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 whack. You out. If they don't knock you out, nigga, and you get out, head up, and walk out of there, I'm a true story. That's a true story. No, hey, I, I, hey, I'm going to agree with that one. I'm, I'm not going to say he won or he lost or anything because I don't think there's any wins or losses in the jumping, right? But, but I truly, but I truly believe. Well, this is what I truly believe, whack. This is what I truly believe. He did walk away. That's fact. He did walk. True story, man. He, you know. And I remember thinking, man, he's he's lucky to be alive. Um, so I get what he's saying. He did walk. I mean, he had a he didn't have injuries that were life threatening, which was surprising. So I guess he won. Uh, he he didn't win in the fighting, but he won as far as he walked out in shiny ass boxers and no shoes. Walk away, you know. Oh, bro. He wasn't carried out, drug out. <laughs> I'm a tree truthful. Three of me and two of my homies and a nigga 130 pounds in a bathroom. He's not. They're going to carry him out of there, bro. Mm. Hey, what's the eight? So, hey, whack. Quick question, bro. And, 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 and did you did you beat up Sharp? He's saying, look. Yeah, bro. Sharp. 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 I've never seen Sharp a day in my life, bro. These niggas be pop chasing, bro. Hey, so all that I've shit he's saying that. that say he's saying that. I have never seen that man in physical form a damn my life. I keep telling y'all, bro. This internet thing is crazy, though. The way, uh, you know, there's still people to this day that say China Mac and 80 really didn't fight. That it was all uh, make-believe and it, and, it, and it helped both channels, both individuals. Uh, they both say they got down. So I'm going to go ahead and believe them. But there's a lot of, I mean, then again, there's people that think Elvis is still alive. And Tupac's in Cuba. <laughs> oh, I'm the name to use, bro. It's weird, but you know. Yeah, that's crazy. He said, it's yeah, weird. he said he he said he pulled up and you guys got that. I've never seen that man a day in my life on my daughter's phone. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You got something hey, to hey, answer to. Hey, hey, look, look, whack. We're trying to ask you questions that our chat is wondering, right? Somebody wants to know, did you hear the J Diggs diss? And how did you feel about that? Like, I, I felt his, the flow was nice. Yo, listen, let me, listen, listen. Again, see, people got in the comments. For the most part, everybody was, was um, they liked that we had a discussion with Wack. Um, they liked that he wasn't disrespectful. Then there was people in the comments um, talking about we were dick riding and all that. Listen to the questions. Like, we asked him about Sharp. We asked about Jay Diggs. I said I liked the diss song. 
Like, I don't know how. I mean, we were asking stuff that most other people don't ask. And he, he agreed to do an interview with us. He's a busy dude. He might he may not do it. Hopefully he does stay tuned. And if he does, there's going to be other questions that you guys want answers to. Doesn't mean he's going to answer, but we're going to ask. The flow was nice, though. No, I need y'all to understand this, bro. I don't know this dude. Mm -hmm. Right? And I told somebody, I said, yo, this is wacky, a rapper. I said, a rapper from where? The Bay. I never heard of the nigga, right? It, look, when niggas want to drop music or they want some attention and they, and they be using their name all they like and nobody doesn't move. Today, right in the last two, three years, if you mention whack 100 name, people talk about it. No, I ain't heard it because I don't know the nigga. I hope it make the nigga some money, whatever it do for good publicity, bad publicity, publicity for me. Yeah, I don't even give a fuck. He went against I ain't tripping. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know the nigga, bro. Listen, bro. I'm gonna hey, so, hey, so, so, what's the, what, hey, what's the, hey, hey, what? Right here. Yeah. I do not have a problem with you too. I don't know y'all. I ain't never seen y'all. I did no bad business. No, mm. no, you know what I'm saying? So for me to be like, yo, fuck you. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's like it's weird. That's too much weird energy, bro. I can apply mm -hmm. that. This nigga mm -hmm. might really want to do something too, bro, for for a real reason. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know the nigga, bro. That shit is weird. They told me the nigga 52, 53. Like, I'm like, goddamn, powder is the new cocaine, I guess. Hey, but trip out on this. So they're saying. That's a, it sounded like he said powder is a new cocaine. He said clout. Clout is a new cocaine. And uh, it does seem like that. <clears throat> it does seem like that. <clears throat> the, the, the beef is stemming from uh, Blue, from, from the shit with Blue, right? The song, whatever, that you said something, that you said something. We're talking about Blue Da Vinci. BMF that BMF cat that you said. Uh, no, I know, I know where I know where blue I know where blues from, but they're saying because he did that diss song or not even a diss song, but he mentioned blue in a bad light, saying that he debriefed. You spoke on it at the clubhouse, and then that's where his that's where the beat. I think this is where Gunner asked the question. He said he was an ass about Wack being butt naked on the phone, on his stomach, arguing with men. People thought he wasn't going to do it. Look. So I, I got I got I got one more question, bro. This is the question I've been telling the people I'm gonna ask you when I got you on the phone. And on pow, I need to ask you. I love when you say that shit, right? I'll be saying it too. Trip out on this, brother. Um, when you was on that bed, man, who was you talking to, man? The game or oh, blue face, no, no, brother? No bro. <laughs> I, hey, what? You want to check this out? I'm gonna say this, man. I gotta. I have to respect. I have to respect Wack for taking the call. Hey, yeah, I respect. Hey, I respect Wack for taking the call. Facts. Hold on, if you said you was in Nellis, right? Yes, sir. You a YA baby like me? Everybody yes, sir. I gotta move this mic or something. It's loud. Period. That was said. I don't give a fuck. He didn't deny. He. Didn't. At that point, I knew like this dude's gonna talk. And, and answer anything, and he's going to keep it respectful. It tripped me out, man. No. That's a true story. Hey, hey, you know you know this, Wack. You know this. Going to Nellis, you was, hey, a real motherfucker was maxed out within three months anyways. Absolutely. why we didn't go to A lot of understand. Now, we went to, no. Yeah, hey, I'm 65995. I'm really wanted from that era where we really. Hey, but we did go to board. We did go to board. We went to DDMS board to get more time. Nah, bro. Nah, we didn't go because we was maxed out. I got sent to DDMS board. Shit. 
I was maxed out, and that's how they max you out. They pull you to the board. The, the, see, board and DDMS board are different. Uh, DDMS, what the hell did that stand for? It had something to do with disciplinary, though. <laughs> that's why one of them Ds were in there. Um, and that's where they added time to you or told you you were maxed out, tried to threaten you with other bullshit that we didn't care about. But there was a DDMS board if you were messing up. Well, that's what I'm saying. What he's saying is we went to DDMS to go get the DDMS time. board maxes you out. <laughs> hey, hey, man, hey, was you there with, when Madman was there from sixties? Madman was there. Old man from Mad Carver. Man old, old man from a hey, old man from Carver Park. Oh, uh, I don't know. I remember. Uh, uh, what about? Yeah, uh, uh, bullet, bullet from Bounty Hunters. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, a damn, what was the homie name? Uh, Jason Jones. I was there what? when the first load of North Daniel. I was on. I was on the second load, so I rolled. They, we rolled up to Cleveland. I was on the second bus load. The first load of North Daniel. Mm -hmm. put up when they got out, they were right there between Roosevelt and Childhood. Yes, indeed. I rolled. I was the second bus. They That's when they introduced pepper spray. Was introduced in Nellis. The, the, bi the big can. The big can it was the OC spray. The big the can. Big can yes, I, I'm telling you, brother. I was there with you. What about H Bone from Hoover? H Bone from Hoover? You? Yeah, he was there. H Bone from Hoover? So, you know, I, I I was getting a lot of stuff on my phone during the interview. That's why you see I'll keep looking down at the phone, <clears throat> responding. Um, and I want to say I, I did it on, on the live. And, and by the way, this is only part one. Part two. Those of you, and because people have been asking me, um, part two is on Gunners Collective. This this interview uh, lasted for about 30 minutes, 31 minutes. Half of it is on my channel, the Dubs channel, um, and another half is on Gunners Collective. <clears throat> I, I don't really want to do the part two reaction unless you guys want me to. You guys can go over there and watch it. Um, but I want to shout out the homie um, Food and Felons. You guys aren't subscribed to that channel. Do me a favor. Go subscribe to Food and Fallons. He's the one that made this phone call happen. He knows Wack personally. He knows a lot of very big figures in the uh, music and entertainment field. Um, his channel is is barely starting. Uh, in May, he, a lot of big things are going to start happening over there on his channel. So make sure you get in now before he gets big so you can say I was there before everybody else. Was you there with yeah. Smiley? Was Smiley Rue was there? Smiley, yeah, Smiley Rue from uh, Circle Six. Yes, indeed. Smiley's yeah, Gunner yeah, started yeah. doing Tai Chi. He was like, you know, know. I'm by that place. They tore that whole place down, bro. So houses. Shout out yep. to Kenya. Definitely. Well, that that his name is Dick Kenya, huh? Boulevard. Damn. Hey, man, East Whittier Boulevard. I was there, man. Like I said, I'm a six five nine nine five, so I was right. I know you don't remember me, but I'm a yes, northern, them, I was yes, a yes, them brand, brand new numbers. Yeah. yeah right, you right behind me. Bro. Right behind you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I had a five eight. I, I was five eight, I remember, two, three. I, I remember that's what I tell him. I'm just trying to be involved, apparently. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess I felt out, felt left out at that point in the interview. <laughs> Everyone, I said he didn't go by whack. He went by Cash Jones back then. He was Cash. <laughs> Lil, Lil <laughs> Cash. No, 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 I went by CK Wack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we called. Uh, yeah, from, that's why he's always Name is Cash Jones. Yeah, Lil Cash. Yeah, that's my real name, mm -hmm. Cash Jones. You know, where you from? Where you from? The Bulldogs? Nah, nah, hell nah, man. You know, respects to the Bulldogs, man. I'm from Westside Merced. I'm from uh, the Central Valley, of Merced. Right. You from Merced? Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. That, that, wait, 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 that's south or north of Fresno? That's, uh, 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 that's south, uh, north of Fresno. North of Fresno. About an hour. About an hour. Delano is, is the last northern city, and then after that, the it becomes southern. Southern city, right? Yep. Yeah, you got your bank got you. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. You know, y'all was in Solidarity when the, when the Bulldogs turned in all their red flags. We brought them. I remember, 1995. Yep. Hey, so you left oh, you brother. left Nellis right before the Hoovers uh, uh, flipped, huh? And the, the Hoovers just started, they just went Hoover? Nah, the Hoovers flipped in. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was there when they flipped. Over, 
Yes, yes they did. Board. I was right there. That was around the same time the Bulldogs did their thing. But see, I didn't, I didn't know. See, I, I did that with the board. Remember, I... I know a lot of this. I'm not uh, participating. For one, now I see how loud this damn mic is. But no, what it was is because I was on the phone. With the only way he could hear me was through the phone. He couldn't really hear me good, so I was trying to let Gunner just do his thing. And uh, you know, Gunner had done time with him, had more connection with him. He around, they knew the same people, so I was taking a back seat. But um, <clears throat> again, man, the the tone of this, the tone of whack, dictated our tone. Like people wanted us to disrespect him, and people were saying, "I thought you guys didn't like whack." One thing that we've we've made clear is when we react to something or we put out content about somebody, we don't know them people. <clears throat> we're reacting to what we're seeing. We're not going to get personal emotions involved in something we're seeing. It's like we don't like something they do. You know, when when Wack made the comments directed, at, at, when he got into it with, with Tres, nobody liked, no raza liked that, you know. No raza liked the comments that he made. Um, he hasn't made them since. And you see here, the tone was completely different. We're not going to turn around and just disrespect the dude. You know what I mean? That's not what it was about. It was about engaging in conversation. We didn't think he would engage this way he did, and we had to respect that. Got out, come right <clears> up, <throat> and went to the pen at 16. I, went, I left Central Juvenile Hall. Oh, damn. We'll see if he answers. That was a cold thing at the end, huh? You see that? <laughs> that was one of Gunner's videos. This started over again. Anyways, that's my reaction. Um, I feel like it was actually a good thing. I, I know it helped his brand because I know a lot of Rasa were like, wow, I got to look at the dude different. <clears throat> and um, if, if he does sit down with us and we do an interview, you know, it'll be on StreamYard. It'll be like this. Or maybe he'll only be able to do it over the phone. We'll figure it out. But um, we'll definitely bring that to you before I go. Like I said, if you want to see part two of this interview, go to Gunners Collective. It's over there. If you guys, excuse me, if you guys want me to respond or react to the part two, I don't think it's necessary. Um, because as you see, it's it's mainly Gunner talking, me throwing in things here and there with this loud ass mic, I got to figure out how to turn down when I'm on with the rest of the guys. Because when I'm by myself, psh, I'm loud, eh? Serio. But anyways, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them, right? I'm out.